in a surprising turn of events, Pastor Gino Jennings, the controversial leader of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, found himself at the center of a heated confrontation that has left many in the Christian community buzzing. The incident took place during a recent church service, where a brave woman named Sarah, a longtime member of the congregation, decided to confront Jennings about his teachings and practices. Sarah, known for her unwavering faith and commitment to the truth, had been increasingly troubled by some of Jennings' interpretations of Scripture. She felt that his teachings were leading many astray, and after much prayer and contemplation, she decided it was time to speak up. Armed with her Bible and a heart full of conviction, she approached the pulpit during a particularly fiery sermon. As Jennings passionately preached about the importance of adhering strictly to his interpretation of the Bible, Sarah raised her hand, interrupting him. The congregation fell silent, eyes wide with anticipation. Pastor Jennings, she called out, her voice steady, I have something to say. I'm not afraid of you or your authority. I believe you are misrepresenting the Word of God. The atmosphere in the church shifted dramatically. Some members gasped, while others nodded in agreement, having shared similar concerns, but lacking the courage to voice them. Jennings, taken aback by the unexpected challenge, paused for a moment, his expression a mix of surprise and irritation. Who do you think you are? He retorted, attempting to regain control of the situation. I am a man of God, and I preach the truth. But Sarah stood her ground. You may be a pastor, but that doesn't mean you're infallible. The Bible teaches love, humility, and understanding, not fear and intimidation. Your teachings have caused division among us, and it's time someone spoke up. The congregation erupted into murmurs, with some members expressing support for Sarah, while others remained loyal to Jennings. The pastor, visibly flustered, attempted to dismiss her claims. You're just a misguided soul trying to sow discord. I have dedicated my life to preaching the true gospel, and I will not be swayed by your unfounded accusations. However, Sarah was undeterred. I'm not here to sow discord, I'm here to seek the truth. We are called to hold each other accountable, and I believe you need to reflect on your teachings. The fear you instill in your followers is not the love of Christ. The confrontation escalated, with Jennings attempting to assert his authority, but Sarah's calm demeanor and unwavering faith began to resonate with many in the audience. Some members began to stand in solidarity with her, voicing their own concerns about the pastor's teachings. As the tension in the room reached its peak, Jennings finally responded with a surprising admission. Perhaps I have been too harsh in my approach, he said, his tone softening slightly. But I stand by my beliefs. If you disagree, that is your choice, but I will continue to preach what I believe is the truth.